In this tutorial, I'll show my approach to frequency separation. Frequency separation decomposes image into spatial frequencies, so-called high and low. In high, we have information about texture, here's high, and low contains information about volume, tone, and color transitions. We need to choose radius uh, according to our editing needs. It needs to be the same in both high and low, in high pass and Gaussian blur. It's five for this image. In this blank layer, I'm basically going to paint. It won't affect texture. I'm going to sample a lighter color and paint over dark, darker areas. Going to paint over this redness under the eyes. Sampling some dark, complying to lighter areas. basically painting before and after and just for fun why not to change eye color it could be done in the same like a uh, layer but to show before and after I made another one and makeup needs to be fixed makeup was obviously applied in a dark room and needs some improvement for lips it's not going to be perfect and I'm just quickly showing what can be done with this action so basically painting over softening that pencil line So if you would like to work in the texture layer, you need to rasterize it first uh, and use stamp um, hard and 100% opacity and flow. And classical way of working in the low layer is also here same way it needs to be uh, rasterized first so I'm making selection then applying um, Gaussian blur I'm going to do it over few areas and I'm using a uh, control F so I don't have to go to filter and Gaussian blur every time and body needs some work too and I'm going to choose different radius in Gaussian blur for the body and I'll mask areas that are too soft after the blur filter Something left and 
touch so few brush strokes and we're done merging the layers before and after and thank you for watching